God. Well, can you stand up without dropping the baby? That's good. Well, let's first of all send a little cherubim angel to take care of that baby and play with him and guard him, okay? Do it, Lord. From action, harm, and danger, keep this child. Let there be no affliction in this baby whatsoever. And now, my dear sister, God is going to draw you back to himself very closely. You're going to go to church and you're going to live for God. You're not going to get sidetracked anymore of all your chores and all your activities and all the projects and all the things that you're involved in. Give God his due and his time. Put him first. In Jesus' name. There's a whole blanket of spirituality poured out on you now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now I want to pray for the healing. See, we've done two things. We took care of the baby, took care of your spiritual future in church, and now your body shall be healed, okay? I'm just going to do this because I see it, all right? Breathe. Did that come clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. You no longer have sinus. And the bone up here that's always been blocked, it's been moved. That's why you can breathe easy, equal on both sides. Hallelujah. You want a little bit more? God's touching the uterus where you've suffered. You have a uterus that was torn and it fell, it dropped out of place, out of position. It's now mending, scars removing, and going back up into place as we speak. In Jesus' name, it's done. Hallelujah. Everyone said it is done. Oh, glory to God. Well, I'm happy now. Oh, you want me to check on it? Yeah, I, I spend more time checking people out than I actually do praying for them. If, if we don't believe God's doing anything but now, we're never going to believe it no how. Hallelujah. Now, Sister Kyle, let God touch you. Uh, I must first of all pray for your ministry before I pray for your healing, okay? Yes. You want me to do that, do you? Yes, I do. Especially because you've been puzzled and questioning, what is my ministry? I have. Your ministry is a teaching ministry. You're a teacher. Is that right? Yes, it is. You can't fool the Holy Ghost. I know a teacher when I see one. When I'm in the Spirit, hallelujah. Uh, you are going to uh, get your memory jogged tonight. And the memorization skills that you once had and your mind has been slipping, your memory has been slipping, it's coming back to you. You're going to know, uh, intuitively know passages without checking the notes and reading the book or you're going to be able to teach in a new level. Kind of like when a preacher gets up here in the Holy Ghost and just goes on and on and on and on. See? <laughs> now, that's your ministry. Now, we're going to pray for your healing in your body. You. You're going to be healed in your spine. Yes. In your spine. Is that right? Yes, it is. You have a scoliosis. Do you know what that is? I do. It's a little curvature. God's going to straighten that for you. You also suffer with osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do I speak you the truth? Yes, you do. You may follow me. These signs you'll follow them that believe. I'm a believer, you're a sign, and you're following me. Hallelujah. Come on up here and face the music. I mean, face the crowd. There's the countenance of a person that's being healed. Watch closely. Hallelujah. You do have some sinus, too, in your head, and you have this dry tickle, which is weird because you'd think dryness would be a wet tickle. But it's a dry tickle. It feels like a string hanging. Open wide. I got the string. 
I didn't say no strength. But what's wrong with you anyhow, you Pentecostals? You're supposed to be able to see in the Spirit. You're supposed to believe this. If you don't believe in this, go change your shingle and be a denomination of uptown or something. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Carpros. Carpal tunnels in the wrist. Yes, it is. Being healed. There goes the pressure out of your back. It's just now healing. Oh, God, heal this teacher tonight. Take her osteoporosis. Woo. Give her a new car. Hallelujah. Oh, that one snapped. Hallelujah. Open and breathe clearly in Jesus' name. Well, check yourself out. Tell me what hasn't been done, and I'll come back and go to work again. Hallelujah. Hmm? That's your mom. Well, congratulations, mom. I didn't know you was his mom. It was hard work, but I've been blessed. I can see you've done a lot of good teaching. I, I do want to tell you one other thing while I'm here in the spirit with you. Uh, in your digestion, in your digestion, there's something trying to block you. It's up in the intestinal. It's now I feel disappearing. You're going to have regularity. It's just going to pass on a regular uh, schedule. That the thing is, is dead, gone, and disintegrated, died, and disappeared. It's gone. Thank God. That was her bonus. That will save her a surgery in about five years. If Jesus tarries, which we hope he don't. Well, I hate to say it in one way I do. <laughs> There's just so much that has to be done, you see. That sister on the end, come, let God touch you. Amen. Thank God. So you want your healing tonight? I do, yes. Uh, I'm just going to do this because it's not severe, but you, it needs to be gone. Tension. Mm-hmm. Check your neck. It's loose. It feels good. Now the tension is from uh, too much worry, stress, anxiety, even almost a panic at times. Uh, that's what's building the tension. Those spells have left your chest and your neck and your mind. I'm noticing now one of your hips sciatic in the right hip Mm -hmm. is pinched in the nerve and it affects you walking and standing and working and uh, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when it disappears Uh, yes and now you're pleasantly surprised (laughs) walk and see for yourself Don't hurt now? No. Not pull it? No. <laughs> oh, well, don't search too hard for it because it's not coming back. Oh, God, I don't want it back. <laughs> now, I do want to tell you that your blood's down a few points. It's low. To you, tired blood? Tired blood. Uh, this is a, lo- a, lo- a loss of energy. Uh, it seems like I are iron. It's iron poor. There's the iron. There's your blood. Jesus name rejoice and be glad hallelujah glory to God you're worried about somebody quite worried there's an outstanding worry then there's several smaller younger worries and uh, you're worried about their soul. You're worried about their soul. Uh, you used to, I don't want to say you used to have, because you still got it, but you haven't been uh, applying it. You have a prayer ministry. It's an intercessory prayer ministry. You've had it before when you felt like you was groaning, travailing. 
That's what's going to take to, to save them. You've got to birth them. Birth them. So go back to the ministry and you quit worrying about those. The main one and then the, the younger ones. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, way back there, the sister, the black hair. Yeah, she just looked over your shoulder. Come on down. At the risk of sounding like the price is right, come on down. You want God to heal you? Yes. You believe he's going to? Yes. Of course he is. And if you wouldn't believe God with me, he's going to heal you anyhow. That ain't Bible. Oh, yeah, it is. Every good and perfect gift cometh down vertically from the Father of lights, not horizontally, often her. Of course, if there's not a good and perfect gift, you have to depend on the horizontal gift, but if there's a good and perfect gift, it, it comes down from heaven in spite of all of us. Okay, uh, you're going to be loose, first of all, in your shoulder, your left shoulder. Yes. What happened to it? Um, I, I just sleep on it wrong. I don't know what it is. You, uh, I sleep on it wrong. You sleep on it wrong? And you just keep doing it over and over? Well, sleep on it right tonight. Because it's healed. Swing it loose here. Yeah. Is it okay now? Yeah. All right. Step of faith. I'm not done with you. And don't try to help me either because uh, if I need your help, I'll call on you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love you. Uh, I came here to hear the voice of God, so don't, don't try to tell me nothing. You might even mess me up trying to tell me something. Okay. I want to get the physical first. And then we're going to get you depressions after that, okay? Yes. All right, you two are bothered there and between the shoulders. That whole left side draws on you. That's going to leave you. You have something that feels funny. You, you get a funny feeling in your heart here, like a little flip, flip jump, a little catch, like a murmur. Of course, you know, you used to murmur more than you do now, but even now we're going to get your murmurs, okay? That comes from your heart. But physically, she has a heart murmur too, like atrial fibrillation, you know? The butterfly, flip, flutter, flip, flutter. Hang on, let me get the butterfly. There he is. Got him by the wings. Say goodbye, butterfly. Aren't you glad you believe in these things? Because if you believe in them, they will happen. It will come to pass. Thank God. Just tell them we're still in church, brother. Just tell them we're still in church. Hallelujah. Okay, now you want the depression gone. Is that right? Yes. You've almost been suicidal yourself, listening to voices. They ain't the voice of God. Don't believe nothing you hear. That's odd I tell you that. Go to your Bible and read it and believe what you see. I command the spirit of depression to come off in you and out of you. In Jesus' name. Oh God, loose not only the shoulder but this whole back and her heart shall flit, flutter, murmur no more. In Jesus' name. Go on, praise him now. Say, thank God I'm free. Jesus, thank you. I'm Jesus. free, I'm free, I'm free. Oh, Hallelujah to God. Oh, glory to the Lamb. Slain from the foundation. Rejoice and praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Congratulations. I knew that was coming. <laughs> 